Hi everybody, today I'm taking a look at the Artist Loft dual tip dot and fine markers. I happened to be in Michael's the other day looking for stuff for my son. He is in physics this year and had to build like a balloon car or something and needed to get some items for that project. And while he was gathering some of the things he needed, I was walking you know, by the paints, because that's the thing I do. And I happened to see these hanging on an end cap. And I thought to myself, well, I've already looked at a bunch of other more inexpensive options for a Zig clean color dot marker, which I will leave that video link down below. My answer to that video was, it's probably more worth it to spend the money than to buy the knockoffs. But I'm always on the lookout for cheaper options because I know that there are people who really want to use dot markers but don't want to spend the money on the Zig, especially if they don't know if they're gonna use them or not. So when I saw these, I thought, well, let's give them a try. Let's see how they compare to the Zig. So these are the Artist Loft, the in-house Michaels brand, uh, dual tip dot and fine markers. You get 12 of them and they are $9.99. I was able to use a 20% off coupon on them because they were regular price, which knocked it down to like eight bucks. This in comparison, so there's 12 of them. And in comparison, the 12 pack of Zig clean color dot markers as of the filming of this video is $29.35. So almost a third of the price. According to the back here, Basically the same as the other dot markers I've looked at. They're water-based, acid-free, with a flexible dot and a fine tip. So let's take a look at them. We'll look at the pens individually, compare the colors to the Zig to see if there's any matching colors and whether or not uh, these are worth getting over something more expensive. Now I will tell you right off the bat that the barrel of these is very similar to one of the other non-Zig dot pens. I had to go figure out where I stashed them for comparison's sake, but the, the barrel of this is very, very similar to the barrel of the uh, Shuttle Art dot pens that I looked at in that video because it has the, um, the little kind of bulgy at the end where the dot is, it like it's raised. That's different than both the Zig Clean Color and some of the other barrels. It is also a slight raised down here by the pen tip. I'm already noticing though, at least with this or, whoa shit. So this orange one is jacked up. Well, okay, that's good to know. The orange one is broken. So of my, ah, of my 10 bucks, I have a broken marker, look at that. Well, okay, it's good to know. We'll set this to the side for now. We'll still test the color, but that's disappointing. Okay, so it comes with 12. Looking at the colors, we have like kind of a rosy pink, a regular pink, sorta like a coral looking color maybe. Again, this is just going off of the caps. This broken yellowish color. Then we've got green, teal, light blue, a periwinkle kind of blue, a dark navy blue, a purple, a gray, and a brown. The only thing that's on the pen is the artist lock trademark and then the little things that acknowledge which side is the fine line tip and which side is the dot marker tip. The other way you can tell is that the dot marker side, like almost every other, both the Zig markers and the other versions of them is the clear cap and then the color cap is the side with the fine liner. Let's test out one of these, see the um, how squishy the dot is and how uh, the fine tip is and everything else. So this is just a regular piece of printer paper. I'm gonna just fold it in case there's any bleed through just to save my desk. So first and foremost, aside from that orange one where the tip doesn't look like it's attached anymore, the tip, the cap on the the um, the dot side does fit snugly and has a nice like snap to it, and the fine line side has the same kind of fit, but it doesn't snap quite the same way. It just sort of slides down. The cap fits nicely on the end of the writing tip. It's actually it's one of those situations where you stick it into the lid, like the top of the lid rather than the bottom of the lid, and then on the other side. Same deal. You put the top of the lid into the top of the other lid to hold your cap there. And it seems to be fairly sturdy. There aren't any ridged 
bits here to hold onto your hand when you're holding it like there are with some of the other uh, markers. Like the Zig, for example, has the ridged grip on the fine line side, whereas this one does not. So it's all very smooth. And the only sort of like, you know how you have the things on markers to kind of the like the little door stop to keep it from rolling. There is one single one on the clear cap. Looking at the dot, we'll compare the dot to the zig dot. Note that these have been used quite a bit. <laughs> Let me see if I have a zig dot that is not quite so used. Okay, this gray is pretty much not that used yet. The zig dot seems to be a little bit wider and a little bit flatter, whereas the artist loft is a little th like thinner, not much, but a little thinner and a little more domed. And this is one that I have barely used, so I feel like that's more accurate. So let's press it down once, lightly, small dot, and then press it down a little harder, and then a little harder. So, okay, this is not a very flexible dot compared to the Zig, small dot, bigger dot. The tip is compared to like these shuttle art ones where the tips were very, very, very stiff. And then when you had the Uhuhu ones where the tips were really, really smushy, I feel like these Artist Loft ones are probably the closest in terms of firmness to the Zig dot markers. They are not as smushy as Uhuhu and they're not as hard as shuttle art. However, I don't know how long they'll stand up for, but they do give a nice crisp circle and a nice crisp bleed through. We'll work on that later. Now looking at the writing tip, whoops. Looking at the writing tip, the writing tip is a felt tip, which is different than the Zig. The Zig is a plastic, like a plastic fine liner nib, more akin to like a paper mate flare, more akin to like a writing pen, whereas this one is more like a marker. So here is what the artist loft looks like. It still seems to be a nice fine writing tip but it's not like, it, it writes kind of like a medium paper mate flare, whereas the uh, Zig writes a little bit more like the uh, ultra fine paper mate flares, even though it's not the same kind of tip, but it has that kind of slightly thinner tip size. The other thing I'll note is that because this is a felt tip, as a heavy handed person, I can imagine much like with the mild liners, this tip will wear down faster than a plastic tip like the Zig. Now we're gonna take a look at bleed through and I'm actually gonna go into my Moxie Life Planner, which has all sorts of shit everywhere in it. And we're going to test the bleed through and we're gonna be, we're gonna go with the two darkest colors. The dark color, this like neat, in Zig it's a denim color and then we'll also go with a lighter color. We'll go with this pink in the Zig. These ones don't have names, but in the Zig, it's the candy pink. So we're just, I'm not comparing colors, I'm comparing bleed through of both the writing tips and the dots. Now the way I'm gonna compare these is I'm going to do a light dot, a heavy dot, and then a scribble with the pen. And I'm going to do Zig on top, Artist Loft on the bottom. All right, first and foremost, when I'm pressing down with them, I don't know if it's because these markers have been used a lot, but the Zig is definitely a little bit squishier than the um, the Artist Loft. And I mainly noticed that in terms of the size of the big dots, although the small one for this pink came out really fucking big. If I can get a smaller one, I just was going a little extra ham, it seems like. Um, but yeah, so the... The Zig definitely creates smaller dots, at least at first. I don't know if they're gonna break in or not. Now let's look and see how they bled. The Zig here, I can see a very light ghosting with both the light press and the small, the heavy press of the denim. But with the Artist Loft, I can see more ghosting with the light press, which was a smaller circle and almost a bleed through with the heavier press. I can't see more than a tiny, tiny bit of shadowing with either of the pens. But as for the Zig and the Artist Loft pinks, the pink from the Zig is the one that's actually shadowing, whereas I can't even see the anything from the Artist Loft, which I think might be because the pink, my pink Zig is so squishy and I pressed down extra hard with that one. But either way, 
uh, it seems like it's almost like a toss up, like the lighter colors with the zig have more of a chance to shadow and the darker colors of the artist loft have more of a chance to shadow. But what I think it might really boil down to because it almost looks like the zig are the ones who, that shadow about the same, whereas it doesn't seem to be as consistent with the artist loft. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to test each of these colors out, both the dot side and the pen side and just to see what the color range looks like and then to compare the zig colors. The thing I've noticed by matching the, the cap colors is that this is the exact same lineup as, at least according to the cap colors, the lineup of the Artist Loft is the exact same as the 12 pack of the Zigs. Now that doesn't mean that they're the same colors because caps aren't always the truth. But in terms of cap colors, unlike the other dot pens where it was sort of like a mix and match, a hodgepodge, these cap colors are identical. Like it looks like the Artist Loft markers are specifically trying to dupe these. So what I'm gonna do is test all the colors and then see if these colors match and if they don't, is there a different zig marker from a different set that might match? Okay, I'm just gonna interrupt myself here. I can't get this orange one out of the uh, yellow, whatever color it is. I can't get it out of the cap, so I'm just gonna see how this looks. I'm gonna fake the dots. All right, so this, this color test came out kind of interesting. Let's talk about it. I think first and foremost, before I talk about these pens on their own, let's talk about the color matching with the Zig because this is probably the easiest to point out. The Zig color matching, there are a few colors that are not exactly the same. For example, the like the corally, the island, was this island coral? Is that what one is? No. Salmon color is almost the same. The candy pink one is brighter. The font, the, um, this one's island coral. This one's a lot more orangey. This one feels a lot more brown. Uh, the yellows seem to be similar. The greens similar. The teal is actually, I like the teal from the Artist Loft a little bit better and the splash color from the Zig is one of my favorite colors. So that's interesting because the splash from the Zig seems to be a little bit more green. Uh, the, what is this color? The blue bonnet, the light blue, almost the same. The, what is this guy? Splash. So wait, what the hell is the teal one? The teal one is ocean, okay. So the greenish teal one is ocean. This blue one is splashed like the periwinkle. The zig color is really dark compared to the Artist Loft. The Artist Loft color is actually a lot more comparable to the single zig clean color that comes in, I think the mild set powder blue, which is this one right here. Um, the denim color seems to be very similar. I would say that the uh, zig color leans a little bit more warm. I think, not by much, but a little bit. We'll talk about the purple in a minute, but let's just say that the same powder blue kind of looks more similar to the dot of the purple, but the line of the purple is more similar to the orchid color from Zig, but it's not exactly the same. Again, like the pink and the, the pink and the, uh, whatever the hell this color, I don't remember any of these fucking color names, salmon. Uh, it's just more vibrant. Uh, the grays are different. The gray, the gray from the uh, Artist Loft is a cool toned blue gray, and the gray, the platinum color from the Zig is more of like a neutral gray. And then with the per the brown colors, the fawn from Zig is a, is a slightly more warm than the brownish color from the Artist Loft. So I would say though that color wise, if the lineup of colors in the Zig Clean Color Dot Marker 12 pack is your favorite, the Artist Loft is probably the closest color match out of all of the ones I've looked at. So they're very, very similar with a couple of exceptions, but the exception colors are not that bad. Well, except for the problem I ran into. Let me zoom you in and maybe you'll see. So aside from the fact that this one is directly going into the trash because it's broken, um, 
And you'll notice here, like with the greens, that I was trying really hard to press down to get a nice circle with them, but they're just very, very stiff. And because I pressed down so hard, that's why there's so much bleed through also, because this is just regular printer paper. So I don't know if these need breaking in or if they're just pretty stiff. Let's just say that the dots on these so far are the large dots are smaller than the large dots on the zig, which is not a pro or a con, it just is. The problem here that I've run into is with these three specific colors, the gray, the island coral kinda situation, and the purple. And you'll see why if you look. It's the most obvious with the purple. You notice something here? These two colors are not the same color. This is the purple that I was expecting seeing the pen. This is more akin to what I was expecting from this blue, or more so, more like this blue. Not the same color at all. When you're trying to use these dot pens, it's really nice to have the same color in two different tips. I don't even know, I kinda wanna take this pen, up. maybe we'll take it apart, we'll look at it in a minute. But so, this one was two separate colors entirely. The other two, not quite as obvious, but still different colors. The gray, the dots are that blue gray I was talking about, but the line is actually very similar to the platinum color from the Zig, much more of a neutral gray. Like, I don't know what, maybe they mixed some blue ink into some of these or something? Fucking hell if I know. But th those are also two different colors, though not quite as noticeable as the purple. The purple is the worst offender, but they, this is definitely two different colors. And then finally, we have the one that's supposed to be Island Coral. This guy looks a little bit more like fawn. Like if I take the fawn brown marker and put it right next to that, that actually looks a lot more similar. But this one, this line looks a lot more similar to the Island Coral. So again, you've got a brown dot and an, an orangey coral line. That really bothers me because that's some fucking inconsistent bullshit. So let's see if we can take this purple pen apart and figure out what in the exact fuck. Actually, I guess I could take the orange pen apart, but the orange pen or the yellow pen is already broken. This was not one of the ones with the problem. Let's see if we can, if we can disassemble this shit. I have some fucking pliers or something around here. My little needle nose plier things I got when I was making, uh, I think it was at, Plancation, I was making planner charms, but they are too slidey. I'm gonna see Jesse's workshop is connected to my office. We've got tools. We've got tools. These have like that kind of grip on them. Let's see if I can unscrew this. Uh, oh my God, there it is. Whoa, okay, okay, there's the insides. Now, we'll use mine so I'm not getting ink all over Jesse's tools. Okay, there we go. Here's what's inside the marker. Science! Okay, so this is the... Okay, so this is weird. The inside inky part is the same color as the pen. What the fuck is happening here? The little knob, the little nubblin. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's full of blue ink. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it on my fucking, on my fucking little pliers. Here, look, I'm wiping it off. The little nubbin has a different color ink in it than the ink that's actually in the marker. And, oh, I see what's happening here. Wait, can we get this out? No. Yes, okay, so I got it out. And this side is blue, and this side is purple. It's like the tip got dipped in the wrong color. I'm just gonna throw these away anyway, I think, except for the ones that I haven't destroyed. Okay, um, what's one of the ones where it's weirder? Because it looks like it was dipped in blue. 
Let's see about the uh, island coral color, the orangey, this guy. So see how this one has like this color, but then this color is more pink. It's not as obvious. I don't know how well you can tell. The tip is lighter. That one's more pink. I don't know if this is a good one. To, I don't know if I want to take another one of these apart. This is kind of a pain in the ass. Here's the gray. See how blue that is? But then look at how not blue that gray is. Well, now that I'm perplexed about how these markers got fucked up, let's talk about whether I think they're a worthy um, substitute for the Zig Clean Color Dot markers. Well, I can't in good conscience, 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 tell you to buy them when I already had a broken one right out of the box. Okay, I had a broken one right out of the box. So in that sense, buyer beware. That can happen with a lot of things, but there's something about taking a product off the shelf and having it immediately be defective that pisses me off. And trying to do returns, I just don't want to deal with it, especially now that I've taken one of these apart. It just doesn't really fucking matter. I also took a look at the reviews when I went to go grab the tools, and I am not the only person who noticed that some of the markers, the tip, the, the dot tip and the writing tip are two different colors. So that is not just a problem in this box. That is a problem other people have run into as well. However, for 10 bucks, if you can deal with the weird marker discoloration, if it's fine, if you're fine with that, if purple, especially the purple, more than any, the rest of them, not that big of a deal. Two different grays, slightly different corals, whatever. It's the purple. If you really want a purple marker, you're not gonna get that in this set. But in general, out of all of the dupes for the Zig Clean Color Dot Markers, I would say that the Artist Loft is probably the closest in terms of color selection and in terms of how the dot tip feels. It's a stiffer tip. I'm assuming it'll break in a little bit more, but even if it doesn't, it's not as hard as some of the other tips and it's not as squishy as some of the other tips. So these could be a good substitute. However, it feels kind of like a crapshoot if you're gonna buy them and see if they're fucked up or not. And like I said, the colors are not consistent. So this is a very, I don't know how to feel about these. I will probably stick all of the ones that I did not destroy in here in my box of dupes for future reference but this guy's getting tossed the purple guy's getting tossed and i'll be real with you i'm not thrilled at spend well i'm kind of thrilled it's fun to take things apart but like it's kind of a bummer that these if these markers were more consistent and i didn't have a broken one i would say flat out that these are an excellent dupe or at least an excellent inexpensive substitution for the zig markers it bums me out that there is some defections in the product but like if you're okay with those then maybe if you get a broken one take it back but if you're okay with the weird color situation with some of these and who knows since it seems like the color was only in the very tip and not in the whole thing maybe you'll work through it eventually either way for 10 bucks a third of the price maybe you'll be able to put up with it i don't know I guess we'll have to see. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Are there other kinds of expensive art supplies or markers that you are looking for dupes of? Let me know. I kind of like duping things. It's sort of fun. Let me know in the comments below if there's something else you'd like me to dupe. I will talk to you soon. Subscribe if you haven't already and peace out.